Hello friends, welcome back to Do It New YouTube channel. Uh, today our objective is flash atmospheric correction practical are complete using the NV. So uh, first, uh, first we need the radiometric correction image. So guys, you can follow my previous video on I was do done the in NV. So you can easy to understand everything. You can see here this is a NV environment. Just open the radiometric correction image just right click just go to the hair and uh, create the radiometric correction image select the one radiometric correction sample to data we are opening here you can see here the subset of the radiometric correction image you got the complete information you can right click on this image and uh, view the metadata and uh, here is having the some information about the data set of the that size of these types nv columns rows and bands and interval then you can check one by one on the position of view pointing position coordinate system also G gcs wgs 1984 extend the uh, of the position of that uh, subset uh, spectral uh, information you can see here the two types of the radiometric correction uh, spectral information you can see this is a band one this is a nanometer and this is a wavelength of uh, all bands you can see but this is a FWHM uh, value to need of uh, some some data are not coming so that time you can just see read the metadata just click on metadata and uh, import the some files you can see here entire process to view the information column name row band interval um, byte order data types everything is the uh, entire need of the metadata information just putting here so just import file and here uh, which file already uh, without subset file we need just open that without uh, radiometric collect correction just subset file open that and uh, ok you can see here the uh, select the metadata for the import file so you can choose which uh, values are not coming just selecting here you can also hear the fwhm file type, header type, interval, row, sensor, special reference, wavelength, wavelength unit, y, and bands, band name, all this. So uh, we no need uh, to just importing this, just close it. So our objective is the atmospheric correction models. Now we are using here the flash atmospheric correction. You can see here uh, this is a toolbox. Right click, open, expand the atmospheric correction model. You can see here the first option, pass atmospheric correction. Just click on that. You uh, can uh, open this uh, flash atmospheric correction model input parameter. Just uh, input the radiance image. You can just Import here this image. Click here. Sample to open it. Use the single scale factor for all band. Okay. The second option is the output reflectance file. Yes, do the reflectance uh, output reflectance file. Yes, select the directory. atmospheric correction select directory open it save and output directories 
uh, both are reflectance file and this is the directory of the flash file so same files we are using here file name root flash file flash file and uh, you can see here the uh, sensor center locations and sensor types so we are using here the hyperion data so select the hyperion uh, give the uh, information about your uh, sensor altitude 105 all information you can see in the metadata files uh, ground elevation uh, water surface to ground uh, what is the exact position so 0 0.100 meter 120 meters and our riparian data resolution is 30 meter what data we was create this data is my data is 09 September 29 2015 Then time three forty two three forty two twenty one. You can also check here the advanced setting. So that is uh, some information you can add here the sub special subset views scale dissolved like. But we are not need here. Yes, uh, apply. So uh, you can just apply here. Click on the apply button. It takes some time. So just take patience. Uh, you can see here the Flash atmospheric correction reason. Yes, let's run this. Flash run date. You can see here the today dates are displaying here. And this is input uh, files. This is a re uh, reader metric correction sample to output file where we are seeing that flash file and the template file. You can see here the Hyperion practical flash atmospheric correction directory. And the file name is this context so visibility of this data average water amount okay just close this we are open that close this one right click on here let's go to the directory this is the atmospheric correction new folder just open the flash file so uh, flash uh, atmospheric correction data is ready just uh, go to the directory and uh, you can open this uh, flash file just open it uh, it is asking you the data manager to load it so it is having the information file information then band selection uh, which band you want to select so just right click on this file and uh, load a true color and load the band number uh, RGB color Select this flash file band number 22. Sorry, let's go to here. 
dan thirteen dan four dory Uh, you can see here the uh, we are uh, close everything all these files just reopen it, uh, both files of uh, this is a flash file yes we was created open it you can see here the flash file is open it again we are open the ready matrix correction files open that this go to the happy and data Select the directory radiometric correction, uh, radiometric correction sample to data. Open it just for the um, resampling. Just check the band, you can see, mm, and uh, you can just open this radiometric uh, correction sample the spectral profile. This is a radiometric correction uh, spectral profile and then we are creating here the uh, flash atmospheric correction spectral profile this is a two different uh, spectral profile this both side we are just smoothing the chains just add the chains and uh, curve smooth you can see here right okay same procedure we are applying here Okay. So just we are moving the cursor point on here. You can see here the radiometric or uh, atmospheric correction uh, spectral signature are the, uh, as compared to the radiometric correction is good. So you can easily find the data. This we go on the crop line. can see <coughs> this is a dark area no reflectance you can see this is a high reflectance you can see here that this is a high reflectance so no change here we are going here the no reflectance this curve is down both sides So guys, uh, our objective is uh, finish here. So create the atmospheric uh, corrections. So before we conclude these tutorials, I request you guys do not forget to share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Before I conclude these tutorials, I request you guys do not forget to share and subscribe my YouTube channel. We call it Do It New. And also press the bell icon so I continuously you updated. Bye bye, see you. We will meet on the next tutorial. Bye.